All right, Richie, your turn, bud. You're on the hot seat now. I'm responding to you. I'm not gonna, res I, I didn't wanna respond to your comment in the comments because I wanna do it like fucking men. I'm a fucking man. I do it face to face. Well, this is as close to face as face, face to face as you and I are gonna get because we both know I sure as fuck ain't reserving a timeshare on Ape Island. If anything, the only thing that I'm gonna have to do with Ape Island is setting up a fucking repo tow truck business on the fucking bridge over to Ape Island. So when all you stupid fucks run out of money, I'm gonna be towing all those fucking Lambos into my yard, baby. <laughs> that sounded harsh, didn't it? Anyways, fuck you, Richie. You don't get called the Ape Father out of my mouth or on this channel, as I always say. So I'm responding to your post about me. I'm flattered, I'm honored, bro. I made it into a community post of yours. This channel has not made it into a video of yours yet, but we'll get there, we'll get there. The thing is, Richie, you already know me, buddy. You already know me. It's your boy, Craig Stryer. <laughs> we know each other well. <clears throat> but anyways, let's get into it. It was so easy to fucking <sighs> hook you. I got the fucking big tuna on the line now. I've caught his attention. I'm on his radar with this small little channel. And now he's fucking making shout outs to me. So it's so damn funny how easy it is to fucking hook you because you're just such a narcissistic, egotistical fucking maniac. And taking the time out of your precious day of eating, excessively eating yourself to death to comment on me and my channel. And I think you even subbed it because right after you made that comment, my sub count went up one. So it's an honor to have you here, Richie. But again, it was so fucking easy to hook you, man. So let's get into it, okay? Here's why I call you stupid, because you just don't get it, man. You just don't fucking get it. Lou has never specifically said any of these events are going to trigger or be a catalyst for the Moaz. All he's ever said is you need to pay attention to these events. Fuck sakes, I pulled a U, Richie. My phone storage ran out of fucking storage and my video got cut off. So as I was saying, Lou has never specifically said that these events, which by the way, these aren't just tiny little events, okay? We're gonna get into that because I don't think you're smart enough to understand that either. But we're gonna explain it to you. We're gonna mansplain it to you. Lou has never specifically said these events are going to and are triggering the Moaz. All he's ever said is fucking pay attention. Now, I'm with you. It pains me to say this because I agree with you on this one thing. It's one thing only. Nobody should be calling the Moaz that it started or it is starting. But you fucking did that yourself. Remember back in fucking September when you got all fucking excited and you made a bunch of videos that the Moaz has started, it started, the Moaz, the Moaz, it started. It's, so don't fucking cast stones, man, because your fucking house is very well, not very well. Your house is very much built out of glass. Anyways. So I agree with that. I'm not defending Lou in that in that context. All I'm saying is Lou has never specifically said, this will start the Moaz. All he's ever said is pay attention, guys. That's all he ever does on his channel, really, is just give you guys, give people nuggets, give them tidbits, like stuff they should be paying attention to. And it's no different with these events, which let's get into now. Lou is not just pulling random tiny little events out of the fucking air. These are major, potentially major events. Okay, Richie, here's something that you're gonna learn right now about the markets. In the markets, there's something called systematic risk and there's something called systemic risk. Now, these events that Lou is referring to, these are big events, both and potentially one or the other. Very potentially big events. And sometimes they are referred to as canaries in the coal mine. Have you ever heard of that term or that saying, Richie? If you look back to 2007, 2008, that whole mortgage fiasco that our country caused, there were canaries in the coal mine and some people were paying attention and other people weren't. The stupid people were laughing at the smart people who were paying attention to these canaries in the coal mine. People like Dr. Michael Burry, that guy got fucking laughed at multiple occasions. Now, somebody that maybe not a lot of people know about, 
He's somebody that I very much look up to and respect. He's a very intelligent man, and you should all check him out too. His name is Peter Schiff. He's an economist, and he does a podcast, he does YouTube, he does all that stuff. He's a very fucking smart guy. In fact, he was also one of the guys who was calling the bubble. He was a little early, but he wasn't wrong. He wasn't quite correct on his timing of when it would happen because nobody ever is, but he saw the canaries in the coal mine too, and he was calling the housing bubble, and everybody fucking laughed at him. If you want to see a good video, you want a good, a good eye-opening fucking experience, just go to YouTube and search Peter Schiff. It's S H S C H I F F is how his last name is spelled. Peter Schiff, 2008 montage. Search something along the lines of that, and you will see a montage of just clip after clip after clip after clip on CNN Money, on CNBC, on Fox. He's just getting laughed at on every fucking channel he's at because he was this fucking, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, he's chicken little, but he was exactly fucking right. So I'm not saying Lou is as smart as Peter Schiff because Peter Schiff is very fucking sharp. I'm not saying Lou is as sharp or as smart as Dr. Michael Burry because I don't know, I don't know much about Lou. But Lou could potentially be calling some canaries in the coal mine. And some of these items and these events that he's calling out, like Tesla, like Evergrande, like fucking, uh, what else is he calling out? The Russia-Ukraine. These are potentially major events that could, could trigger. We don't know that. And that's all he's saying. He's just saying that they could. Okay? So... Hopefully you enjoyed this little lesson on the markets and on how things work. I gave you two really big words that might be too big for you, but look them up. Systematic risk, systemic risk. They both exist in the market. Check them out. Canary in the coal mine. Check that out too, Richie. You're going to want to get yourself familiar with that term. And then Peter Schiff. Look that up, guys. All of you, not just Richie. I'm talking to everybody right now. Look up Peter Schiff, Montage 2008, or Peter Schiff, 2008 Montage, whatever. You'll find the video. You know what I'm talking about when you find it. This guy was getting fucking laughed at off major news networks time after time after time again. And he was fucking right. His timing was wrong, but his theory and his thesis was right. Okay, Richie, you've taken up enough time on this channel. Peace.